Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So, you know what, the last tutorial we uh, we located the current location in our Google Map, right? So, this was the current location that we detected in our last tutorial. So, in our list, in our today's tutorial, we are going to uh, get the current address from our Google Map. So, as you can see, this blue mark here we are having that uh, that is our current location and that address we are going to get and display in a text view in our today's tutorial. So without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. So head back to Android Studio and this is our project that we created last time. And if you had not watched our previous video, the link is in description, you can check them out. So in our today's tutorial, we are going to get the current location uh, from Google Maps. So uh, to get the current location, we need and location services. So let's extend. Uh, we need and location listener. Yeah. So extend the main activity from the location listener as well, and then press Alt and Enter, and it will tell you to implement some methods. Uh, to override some methods. So we'll select them all and click on OK. So now we are having the four methods that we had got from the location listener. Uh, the first one is on location change, the second one is on status change, the third one is on provider enable and fourth one is on provider disable. So let's uh, first, uh, this location change gives us the location, right? So this location is the current location that we are having. So what we'll do is we'll uh, decode it and we'll try to get a current address from this location. So to do so, I had already created uh, this, uh, what we say? Uh, dummy code at uh, the outside so to save our time so i'll just copy and paste it from here and i'll explain you how it works so first of all to decode this location we, we need a geocoder right let me import this all stuff from here yeah so this location is this p0 and we'll change its variable name to location yeah so now uh, this geocoder will uh, get the locale of our current address for, the, for example I am in India so what uh, to decode this location we need a locale right so, so this geocoder will get the current locale from your smartphone after that we will take we will create a list of addresses right so the what we will do is we will decode the address from this location we will uh, we'll add it into this address array of addresses and after that from this array of address we can uh, get the our current address in form of street name city name and state name and all of that right so we have created the list of addresses now after that we need and try and catch block to get to so that our app should not crash if something wrong happens here if we get the exception to handle the exception we have created try and catch block after that we uh, will add this uh, uh, we uh, will assign this array of addresses to this addresses variable we'll initialize this array of addresses so what we'll do is we from this geocoder dot get from location to uh, we'll decode this location by using this geocoder geocoder get from location and we'll pass latitude and longitude from this location and the max result is one we'll pass this one value uh, to decode the location uh, from address from this uh, location longitude and latitude so it should not be null so i am uh, keeping it as null nullable right so what it will do is it will add the address into this addresses at a list of addresses now uh, once it has been done we need to call the again uh, another method that is set address yeah right and we need to pass that array of address to this so i had created that method here and let's uh, check uh, what we do here yeah so now i'll copy it and paste it here in set addresses now first of all I'll check if my array of address is not null so if it is not null what I'll do is I, I, I'll uh, uh, so before that uh, I, I had some made some changes in my XML code uh, previously so the sum of the changes are like I had added an image view which will be displayed at the center of my map right as you can see uh, it has that pin view so this pin will show at the center of my map uh, actually at the center of my screen uh, so I'll, uh, I'll tell you why we need that for, but for now we can make it as visibility as gone or let's uh, make it visible so that you, it will be displayed on my current location and the second one is the text view I had created at the bottom here if you see I, if I type some text here you can see on the screen right so this is the text view 
So in this text view, we are going to display our uh, current address. So TV address, I have declared a variable of text view at the top. Uh, this is my text view, TV current address, and then I had initialized it on my on grid. So uh, we need to set the address to this text view, TV current address, right? So come back to set address. Uh, we'll check if it is not null, and if it is not null, what we'll do is we will uh, decode the uh, current address from this address array of address. So the TV current. Uh, so if address dot get address line, uh, it will return the first line of address. For example, if uh, you had some uh, flat number or line number, that will get from this uh, get current line zero. And if it is not equal, uh, not null, it will uh, assign will assign this value to our text view. And then again, we are having if if get current line is not equal to null at that time it will append that our uh, uh, previous line with the first line right we are having array right so uh, the address is stored in the uh, in parts in sections right so array of zero will contain the first line array of one will contain the second line of your address array of two will contain the state of your address array of uh, three will contain the um, in a country of your address so in this way the address is stored in the different parts so we'll assign then and we'll append this text view with the first one uh, part. So we also need to implement and uh, what we say the Google Map on camera listener, right? We need to import this uh, three classes. First one is Google uh, on camera move listener, on camera started listener, and on on camera idle listener. So this all method is related to camera of Google Maps. So let's import all this method. Now, once you had uh, imported the three methods, the override methods that is on camera move, on camera move started, and on camera idle. So what will happen is uh, you need to also give the access to your camera uh, to this to get the current location. So let's head back to our this code. Uh, on camera move, is now on camera move, and what we need to do is we need to copy this. And we need to set the listener uh, to our Google Map. So below this, we can set it as on camera mode listener, on camera mode listener, and camera idle listener. So the three listener we had attached them. Now what we need to do is uh, we are having on camera idle listener. So we need to add some code into on add camera idle listener. On camera idle, yeah. So now here, uh, the, this is the same code that we did here, uh, the attachment of the addresses, right? So the address uh, on GeoCoder, GeoCoder, we get the local of our country and then we have put the try and catch block. And uh, what we had did here is uh, instead of taking the address from your current location uh, that we got from on location change, what we are doing is we are taking the longitude and latitude from the camera listener. Right, so I'm map dot get camera position dot target dot latitude, and then so the in same way we are getting the longitude, and the result is one. And in same way we are adding add that into our uh, address array of address, and we are calling this set address method. So now let's try it and let's see if it works fine or not. Now it should work uh, correctly. Now, if you see here, uh, this is my current address where I am now, right? This, uh, as you can see, the pin is on the blue mark, so it shows me the current address. Now, if I drag my Google Maps somewhere aside, it will change the address because the wherever you will put that uh, pin, the that address it will show you in the text view, right? It tracks the address wherever you put that pin. Now, let's uh, say we need to go. Uh, somewhere uh, on the other area, let's say Dombi Valley, and that is in Mumbai. Uh, let's say we need to go in, uh, let's say, another country. Let's say we will go to Afghanistan. So, and let's zoom in, uh, pick up any location from the Afghanistan. It's Gizab. Uh, right? Look, we got the full address from that, the highway name. So in this way, you can pick the any location from the Google Maps and display it in a text view, as well as you got the current location as well, right? So uh, this was the enough. I think this is uh, enough for this today's tutorial. And in our next tutorial, what we'll do is we'll uh, uh, 
uh, we'll select the one more location here and what we'll do is we'll navigate from our current location to that and we will show that uh, navigation part same like as Google Maps has, right? The pathway. So, uh, hope you like this uh, Google Maps web series. And if you have any doubts, you can comment in the comment box uh, as well as you can check the different playlists that I'm having on my YouTube channel. And hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.